Hey, what's up, everybody? D Amazing here, bringing another review. This time is of the Storm Collectibles 112 scale hot reel for Street Fighter V. Let's get it started, guys. First and foremost, I want to start by saying this is a brand new upper body scope and lower body scope of Ryu. So if you have the old one, although it's new, it's also new. Like, it's not one of those things where it's just a simple repaint. Uh, there's actually molded new parts. There's a bit of new articulation thrown in there. So we're going to get it popped and get it started. First and foremost, Ryu has a bed now. Which is really cool because this was first seen in the game and now they've made it into an action figure. We can say Ryu like has a bit and it looks pretty cool. The upper body is that uh, new mix where you get the butterfly joints and you get a cross reference of bicep swivel. Not double jointed because the muscle still gets in the way. That's one of the few things I don't like about the Storm stuff. But only with the Street Fighter line it seems to be and only with Ryu uh, and quite possibly a little bit of Ken. But for the most part, it is double jointed, but you just can't get the full rotation up on the arm. So that's something, uh, it's a little bit of a drawback, but it's not something you can't work around unless you play with the figure enough. Uh, the one drawback of the new mold is not the torso swivel. I'm just doing that to show you guys. The one drawback is actually in the legs. Now, the big issue with the Hot Ryu, and not just me, but a few other people are having, is that when you try to lift the legs up, it's super stiff, super duper stiff, loses a bit of range of motion, and with the soft parts, it's supposed to make it easier, but it's actually a little more difficult. As you can see, this is about as far as I can get before I have to finagle it and rotate, but because of that, the torso up here almost slips out every time. So even though you can get the highest range about this high, you actually get a full rotation on the ankle pivot too. The problem being is that it looks really awkward here. Because what happens, easy move right here, and easily he just fell right off of his torso. And you don't want to keep doing that. So that's really difficult after a while. And it seems to be only with the right leg. And what I did, uh, part of the time, is that I put it in the seat, just like that. All I did was finagle it a bit, and I'm having some issues. So just like that, it kind of fell apart. The problem is, the figure is really nice. It's just that the leg joints are on a little too tight. And that's something that Storm needs to work out with the Ryu. Because it seems to be the only one I'm having an issue with. I had it with my regular Ryu as well. So that's something that definitely, definitely needs to be worked out. The figure itself is quite possibly like one of the best Ryus there are in terms of sculpt and mold. It's really nice. But the lower leg issue seems to be it's a hassle that no one wants to deal with all the time they want to play and pose with their figure. So it's something that definitely needs to be worked on. Now, you can still rotate it in and out. Again, you just, it's going to be every time you're going to have to just redo the legs every time. So... Please be aware of that, guys. It's a, it's a huge issue with the Ryu right now. But uh, what helps it, for me, put it in the freezer for about 15 minutes. And I know it sounds crazy, but put it in the freezer for about 15 minutes and you'll have less of an issue with it because the joints will loosen up a bit. You have a bit of range. Alternatively, what you can do is pop the leg back off and, on the, uh, and sand down a little bit. And I mean very little of the ball joint. That's an alternative that you can do. Now, in terms of hands, I have the relaxed to Hadouken hands on. So, in terms of accessories, Ryu comes with the charging Hadouken. I believe this is the Dejin Hadouken. I can't remember. But the point is, this is a really dope effect. Um, there's no stand piece for it. It's to be held in the hands. It looks really good. So, if you want, you rotate these joints together. Put the hands in. And Ryu can hold his fireball. Like I said, this is the relaxed Hadouken hands. There's also another set, so you can actually do it. Ryu also comes with hands for his V-Trigger. I mean, sorry, not hands, sorry. Ryu also comes with V-Trigger effect parts. So it's a little bit of electricity that's supposed to go around the arm. And to get those on, what you actually have to do is you have to remove both the, the glove and the hand. Form it around the arm above. You got to make sure it really gets up there. Put the glove piece back on. Now, the one thing about this is you have to make sure the glove piece lines up with the opening. So, I'm going to make sure you guys see that. So, it seems like a hassle, but it's because I'm actually trying to look on camera and make sure everything is in sync. And then put the hand back on. So, I'm only going to put it on for one. So, as you can see, you have to make sure the opening lines up with the glove piece. So, the V-trigger works out just fine. So I'm going to leave that on there for now. <clears throat> so you get the V-figure effect, and it's actually really nice. It holds really well in place. You can actually use it to rotate with the arm. 
so you don't have to worry about it falling off or anything like that, which is really good. And I think that's something they tried to take into effect. The problem being is that uh, with reused legs, you're not going to get too much of motion for that. Now, you also get regular Hadouken hands. So if you want, you can put the Ken or the previous reused Hadouken Fex in there. Then you also get the V-Trigger Stance hands. So this is also really cool. And originally in packaging, you get the closed fist. So you can do Hadouken. I mean, not Hadouken, sorry. You can do Shoryukens. You can do punches. You can do stances for punches. So yeah, beat up a car. Now, Ryu also comes with alternative faces. One being the grizzly, chiseled, growling, snarling face. Really cool. Um, one thing I like to notice is that now that Ryu's beard uh, totally connects to his uh, eyebrows. I don't know if you guys find that funny, but I do. Ryu has eyebrows long enough and thick enough to connect to his beard. So, it's uh, pretty funny. Then we have the yelling face, which also can be used for Hadoukens. Sure, you can just yell out anything. And the way you swap that out is actually you just pull out the faceplate in front. Wiggle it out. And then you can just place it right in. So now we have yelling Ryu. Looks like somebody's dead, honestly. So yeah. Alternatively, if you want to know the scaling for Ryu, like other Storm collectibles, they are a bit larger. But in terms of with in scale with other Storm figures, here he is next to Ken. They're about the same height. Ken being a tad bit taller because of his ponytail. Then next up, we're going to use Vega. And Vega's obviously taller than both of them. Kind of skyrockets over them. And that's the way it should be because Vega's gigantic. At least in Street Fighter V. Muscle-wise, everybody's huge. Now, in terms with Marvel Legends and other scales like SHF, I'm going to show you guys. Here he is with John Wick. He's taller than John Wick for obvious reasons because the Storm stuff is actually really, really big. I'm going to pull out an AI Ninja. Now, next to Ninjas, he's gigantic as well, but the AI Ninjas seem a little bit taller. When next to a Kamen Rider figure from SHF, he towers over them in both muscle, girth, width, everything. And then we're going to use a Mezco figure. Let me just reach right over. Grab my Mezco Daredevil. Now, he's probably the closest thing outside of anything else that's going to match up with it. So we know Mezco figures actually look pretty good with them. Not wide enough, but, you know, it's enough. I think that wraps up just about it. Um, alternatively, I really like the figure. The issue being the legs. I just don't want to have to put it in the freezer every single time. I'm going to have to find a shortcut to that. I'll probably sand them down later. But if you're willing to put the time and effort in like I did for the photos at the end of this video, you'll end up really enjoying the figure. It's just the leg issue is something that you want to be aware of. Otherwise, though, great figure. But it may be a letdown for some other people in terms of that. They want to play and pose all the time. In the meantime, guys, hope you enjoyed. I hope you found it informative. And I hope you're drinking your water. Be good. Do good. Keep those hearts full. Later, man.